Good morning, folks. We've got many of the new James Webb Space Telescope images today, a climate story touching on a subject many veteran observers will easily recall, and we've got space weather. The last 24 hours on our star saw no significant flares, no filaments erupting as CMEs. But that coronal hole stream we identified yesterday morning has settled in, the rise in purple plasma speed, and it ended up producing a minor, low-level geomagnetic storm, which was also short-lived. We still have the sunspots, but again, they lack magnetic complexity, have failed to flare, and aren't really expected to kick into gear for a couple more weeks. The plasma filaments are still all over the Earth-facing disk, but they have also maintained a serious level of stability. We'll watch for all of these in case they become active, but as we have mentioned for months, several times here and on our website, the 5.9 month high activity cycle is due to kick in at the end of this month or next month and will last through September, if not into October. We're getting closer. Had a big earthquake yesterday in the Pacific, 6.8 at Easter Island. That's a good pressure release with no tsunami. Also had a weird one offshore Canada, rare to see them hit this area, and it was over magnitude 5. Up next, shocking. The effect on plankton of having more of its food around will be that they get bigger. They eat more what they call absorbing carbon. While they toss in the concept that they don't know if that will last after the century, that part is similar to their previous blunders with plankton, chlorophyll, and others, supposed to all die with global warming, they said. Nope. Thriving, and will continue to do so, even after this century. Now we're on to James Webb, and yes, the images are stunning and of better, deeper quality than anything before. However, we haven't got much in the way of interesting new science yet. They are scoping beauty in the heavens, scoping chemistry at various points of interest, including water in the atmosphere of an exoplanet. But aesthetics are the story thus far from the new eye in the sky, and would like to note that yes, we very often highlight the nova events that have no binary. This is not one of them. The binary star system responsible for this nova is now clearly visible while it's never been visible before, apparently shrouded in dust as it appears fuzzy in that top right image. There is much more to come from Webb and from the Sun, 5.9 month activity cycle creeping closer to kicking into high gear. The wait is a bit of an exercise in patience and anxiety. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.